what's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today we're talking about Psych the Movie, in preparation to soon see the sequel that's set to release on Peacock on July 15th. Psych is based on the hit USA Network detective comedy series with the same name, for which I was a fan. When it came to USA, I loved both Monk and Psych. I probably prefer Monk, and I'm bummed that we never got to see movies come out of that like we've gotten to see from Psych. But I really do dig everything Psych was all about, too. But one thing that shouldn't be misunderstood is that it's a little bit silly to call this thing a movie. There's literally nothing cinematic about it. It feels like a two-hour special episode of the show itself, and that's it. But if you go in expecting anything else, then you're probably doing something wrong. For me, Sean Spencer and Gus are totems. Let's get cracking. This review is brought to you by the word of the day, totem. A person or thing regarding as being symbolic or representative of a particular quality or concept. Psych! The movie brings Sean and Gus back into the folds to investigate a brand new mystery. Juliet's partner Sam was attacked in his own home, and the guys must do their thing to track down who did it. Meanwhile, Sean is trying to use his abilities to track down his grandmother's wedding ring to finally marry Juliet. So, yeah, like I said, this is barely a movie. It's barely even a TV movie by your typical standards. It really does just feel like a continuation of the show and just a couple extra episodes. And I'm not really sure I'd have it any other way. If it was too serious or too cinematic, it might lose a chunk of the soul that made this show so popular in the first place. And that soul is ever so present here. I had a great time with this film, and that mostly all has to do with our favorite characters returning for their roles, and it feels like they never left. That's mostly because their chemistry has always been on point. If you ever just watch them hang out outside of Psych as real people, you still see that chemistry. It's real. That's who they are. And you can tell that while watching, it really isn't about the movie experience for them at all. They're just having fun making the thing. So in turn, the movie's fun. I definitely laughed quite a bit with this film. But one of the biggest problems with it is that nothing really felt important. Nothing felt dire. The mystery itself was rather mediocre and forgettable. And I swear to you, the show had tons and tons of better mysteries. And while we're at it, the show also presented Sean's abilities better too. Since this movie came out three years after the show ended, you can probably guess that it would be a good starting off point for people that, you know, have never seen it to check it out and to see what it's all about. Go back to the beginning of the show if they liked it. Well, I don't know if this film would successfully make people do that because this isn't the best introduction to the characters. It only really works as an extension to what you already know if you've already seen the show. What that reminded me of is the first Star Trek film, which works as an extension of the show. It's clearly a reunion film more than it is an introduction to the characters. When you do that, it doesn't really feel like a standalone project anymore. It just It's a fun time to be a fun time, but nothing more than that. Another pet peeve that I had with this film was the editing. If it didn't already atmospherically feel like a TV show, the Editing extended that feeling because it fades to black several times in the film, obviously making room for commercial breaks. So, is this movie going to feel like a movie? No, not really. But as I've already stated, I'm not entirely sure if it was really necessary to feel like that. I would like to see some improvements in the sequel that's coming out soon, though. I'd like to see more of an improvement in the editing so that you can still feel like it's the show, but also edit it better so that it also feels like a movie. I would also put in a more dire situation, make the plot necessary for a film to be made. These guys seem to have fun no matter what the story revolves around, just make it necessary is all I'm saying. Other than that, I think this movie did exactly what it set out to do. It made a humorous mystery comedy that has the audience laughing, but to smile on faces of countless fans. From an unbiased, technical vantage point, the film's lack of a cinematic atmosphere is affecting my end score, but only by slightly because I do understand what they were going for. So that score is 70%, but that's not what it's about. It's about making sure the fans love it, that the chemistry is still there, the humor is fresh, and it is. My bias score is a little bit higher at 78%, averaging out the two scores to a final score of 74%, 74 out of 100 possible stars, granting Psych the movie with a letter grade of C. Like I said, I did like the 
movie, but there are areas here and there that could have used improvement. But I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on the TV movie in the comments down below. Were you a fan of the TV show during its run, and what did you think of the film? Also, I'll be watching and reviewing the sequel, Psych Lassie Come Home, pretty soon, so make sure that you don't miss out. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified when that comes out. And I'll see you then. Peace out!